Howdy folks, this is Brian, and here's some advice. I just want to start off by saying that I'm going to have a little bit of a shorter video today. It's also probably going to be a little less refined, so I do apologize for that. It's been a particularly busy week for me, and I had a lot of things I was trying to accomplish, so I just didn't have a lot of time to put a huge amount of effort into this video. Hopefully you enjoy it anyways, and let's get started. So our story for today is called, Am I a Jerk for Cutting Off My Mother When She Got a Paternity Test for My Daughter? And this is from Aggravated Ace 6. I've been with my wife for eight years. We have two children, a five-year-old and a two-year-old son. I've known since my wife got pregnant that there was a possibility that our daughter wasn't my biological child. I don't care. She's my daughter and my wife has never been unfaithful. However, I don't want to know if she is or isn't my biological daughter and I never wanted to know. Edited to include the full story as people assume that she cheated. My wife and I were together for around two years when we had a fight and broke up. We were broken up for about three months, during which we both slept with other people, and then we got back together. After approximately two months of being back together, my wife found out that she was pregnant. We knew that there was a possibility of one other man being the biological father, and it was a toss-up between him and me, but it was more likely to be mine. My wife was honest with me that she'd slept with other people when we got back together, and I was equally honest. And the window of conception for our daughter was just large enough that we couldn't say for sure if she was conceived when we were together or apart, and while she offered to get our daughter tested, I didn't want to know. My entire family were aware when we broke up and got back together. Visibly, she looks like her mother. Same dark hair, same dimples, same bone structure, and I see bits of myself in her too, mainly in her mannerisms, with the only part that doesn't match up being her eyes, which are brown, while mine are green and my wife's are blue. Meanwhile, my son, with his green eyes, blonde hair, and bone structure, looks like a clone of myself, and looks very different to his dark-haired, dark-eyed sister. My mother has noticed, and remarks on it often, both because of the reality behind that which my mother is unaware of, and because she and my mother have clashed a few times in the past. They are very different people, and their personalities just don't mix. Then a few months ago, my wife's sister and my best friend, they're married, got into a car accident. They were both in the hospital with one of their three kids kids while the other two were home alone. So we asked my mother to watch after our kids while we helped them out. Our kids were with her and my dad for about five hours. Last week, mom came over and said she had something important to tell me. When she had my daughter unsupervised, she did one of those DNA test kits on my daughter and compared it to her own DNA, which she apparently ordered months ago for this exact purpose and was waiting to use it. And it confirmed that my daughter isn't biologically related to me. And she began to tell me about a lawyer that she could get get in touch with to begin the divorce proceedings. I told her that this changes nothing, she's still my daughter, and that's my wife she's talking about. Mum was shocked, and she called my wife some names I don't care to repeat. I told her to get out of my house. It's been nearly a week, I've told my wife, I've blocked my mother on everything, and there's been constant calls and texts. My mother is furious that I never told her that I had an inkling, and has since disowned my daughter, but says my son is still her special little guy, so she wants a relationship with my son, but not my daughter. In addition to my mother, all five of my siblings, three sisters, sisters, two brothers, and dad are angry with me. They want me to get back in touch, and a couple of them said that I should even thank my mom for what she did as she was looking out for me, and now I know. However, I can't justify my mom going behind my back and getting a DNA test on my daughter without consulting me. I feel like I'm in the right, but I also feel like I could be overreacting, and I would appreciate another perspective as I'm seriously considering cutting contact with my mother over this. Am I the jerk? not the jerk. This was your choice and had nothing to do with your mother. She did this solely to hurt your wife. If you allowed your mother to have a relationship with your son while not having one with your daughter, you'd be a terrible father. Blood doesn't make a father. I 100% agree with you. The mother shouldn't have done anything and should have minded her own business. OP is doing nothing wrong by cutting his mother off. Not the jerk, OP. Not the jerk sidetracked replies i kind of feel like it might have been okay if he was under the delusion that the child was his but he knew about the possibility that she wasn't his didn't care and didn't even want an answer either way who is this mother and why did she take the decision away from him or worse yet disown his daughter because of it definitely not the jerk Howie the girl replied, not the jerk. Your mother overstepped so much, there just aren't any words. Also, as a side note, I know you don't care about your daughter's paternity, but if your mother ordered a mitochondrial DNA test, this used to be a little bit cheaper and is sometimes an option for grandparent testing, then your daughter would show unrelated even if she was related because it compares the DNA that is passed on from the mother to daughter. 
Aggravated Act replies, I'm not sure what kind of test kit she used. I know it was one of those at-home test kits that you sent off for analysis, and I'm fairly certain that she got it from a website that does family trees, but that's all the details I have. She did have the results on paper with her, but I didn't look at the logo when I gave it back to her and when I told her to leave. Alright OP, I'm gonna agree with everyone here in Reddit. Again, I don't think you were the jerk here, I think that you're being reasonable, and it would be really unfair to your daughter to not have a relationship with her grandmother when your son would have a relationship. What your mother did was really irresponsible, this was really isolating, and it was completely inappropriate. If she had wanted to do the DNA test, then she should have consulted you first. She should have consulted you and said, I don't actually think that your daughter is your biological daughter, and that you should really get her tested. Now there are legitimate reasons why you would want to get a DNA test for someone, and one of those reasons would be like medical history. If your daughter isn't related to you, then she may have a slightly different medical history, and that would be important to know. But overall, this isn't a decision that your mother should have made. If your daughter wanted to later on in life make this kind of decision and actually seek this information out, then she could have. I'm also going to agree with a lot of the Redditors here when you say that you don't care and I think that's really great. And I think that family is more than just blood. A lot of people lose sight of that, and it seems like your mother has lost sight of that. Hopefully giving her a little bit of time isolated from you will help make her realize the error in her ways, so to speak. And hopefully she comes around and ends up actually saying that she will have a relationship with your daughter and your son. And hopefully this is a lesson that she can take away from it. I would consider sitting down with your mother and discussing this with her at length and telling her that it's an all or nothing kind of deal here. That she either accepts your daughter and your son or she doesn't get to see either. Then at least this would give her the ability to sit and kind of think about this and make her understand and how serious you are about this. Anyhow, good luck to you, good luck to your family, and I hope everything works out for the best in the end. Take care, and good luck. All right, folks, that's all the time I have for today. Hopefully next week I'll have a little bit longer a video. I may be posting another video at some point in time in this week if I have more time. I'm really just not sure. But again, I will be posting next Monday at 1, so look forward to that. Hopefully I'll see you all later. Also, I just want to check in with everyone, and I want to make sure that you're doing all right. Let me know in the comments how you're doing. I do care about people here, and I know that the times are hard right now, and times are stressful, and there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. If you say something in the comments, I'll always make an attempt to reply, and I really do care about what's happening with you. I can't always be on top of the comments as much as I want to be, but I assure you that that's more out of just the amount of time I have in the day. I just don't have a lot of time. This is a side hobby, and I really like doing it because I know there's a lot of people out there who say that they find my voice relaxing and that they enjoy hearing me talk, and I really do want to provide you with this, and I hope that it does help you, and I hope it helps keep you connected to people in this time that is isolating. But anyhow, take care, and I'll see you all around, and I'll see you next week.